Yo, what's going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Welcome. It is the one, the only Big Trail Network. I'm its host and creator, Ty Hudson. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you were, if you if you live down in the River Valley or Crawford County or anywhere on that in that area where all the flooding is, I hope you were safe. I know that was uh, probably not how you envisioned your weekend going, but it's uh, that you know the result of all those storms and everything. I, I just hope everybody was safe. My thoughts and prayers with everybody who, who's been affected by the floods, also over in the eastern part of Oklahoma as well. I just hope everybody's safe and okay. There's bigger things than sports and and livelihoods. Are at stake there in that part of the in that part of the state in that in that region. So I hope I hope everyone's okay and, and doing well. If you've got friends or family down there, please check in on them. Make sure everyone's safe. Obviously, behind me, a little bit different. Don't have the green screen. Don't have the graphic up. We're in the middle of a transition. I will say we thanks to my wife, we got a new desk in here, new lights. You can't see them, but they're they look like something you'd expect to see if you walked in on a movie set. It's really cool, really awesome light fixtures and then uh what else new chair thought well if i'm gonna record i don't want to have a blank green wall so i put some of my posters behind me as you can see so really quick let's take a look around the sec and let's talk about what happened really quick uh so far for for the sec not too bad vanderbilt georgia arkansas mississippi state ole miss lsu texas a and tennessee auburn and florida all in which that's 10 total teams that ties the ncaa record which was set by the sec i believe that was last year also, they tied another record, four top eight national seats in the, in the NCAA, four of the top eight. There's also a lot of people who believe that it would be five. Maybe it should have been five. I don't know. So, for Arkansas, the Fayetteville Regional, got to take this one game at a time. If you're going to ask me, you know, how far do you think they go, I've been kind of back and forth. I, I feel like, you know, from here on out, they're going to be in Fayetteville until Omaha. I do think they make the, the Super Regional. I really don't know what happens after the Supers. I do think they get there. First up, Central Connecticut. I guess it's Central Connecticut State, I guess. I don't know. They're the Blue Devils, 30-21 uh, and 21 with a 16-8 and eight overall conference record. They have an RPI of 183, a strength of schedule of 257. They were never ranked this season. They have proven they can win away from home, though. They have 18 total wins. They're 18-14 and 14 away from from their home field, 12 and seven at home, but they're 10 and 10 away in the neutral site, neutral field. They're they're eight and four. Conference play, they, like I said, 16 and and eight. Non-conference record, 14 and 13. They don't have a very good RPI. Their strength of schedule is not very good. From what I understand, what little I know about them is they're kind of a bullpen rich team. Well, you know, they're, they're, they lean a lot on their bullpen. We'll have to wait and see how this thing all unravels, but I, I like Arkansas's chances in this game. If we are truly taking it one game at a time, I like their odds here. So beyond that, I think it's beyond this regional, I think it's kind of a coin flip, but I do think they end up probably TCU's is would be my bet, would be the other team in this tournament that could be troublesome. But you never know. I mean, listen, this time of year, anybody can beat anybody. I mean, that's true. In baseball in general, you can't win them all. I have to remind a group of friends of mine of that constantly. You can't win them all. But uh, this time of year, anybody really can beat anybody, especially when you look at a team that, that won their way or got their way to the Fayetteville Regional by winning their, their tournament. You know they're on cloud nine right now, and they're they're – you know, they're on the road against a big-time opponent in a big-time stadium. I mean, come on. You know they're going to bring their hats. They're ready to play. They're bringing their bats, their cleats. You know, they're ready to go. Let's take a look some more. Let's let's dig up some more dirt on Central Connecticut really quick. Uh, their overall RPI rank, remember, it's not very good. It's 183. Their strength of schedule is 257. Their non-conference strength of schedule is 281. Okay, let's, let's compare them in Arkansas really quick based on who they've played. 1 through 25 RPI rank, they've not played anybody, okay? 26 to 50, they're 0 and 1 against teams that are ranked of, or have an RPI of that, of that caliber, 26 to 50. 51 to 100, they're 3 and 7. 101 to 200, they're 1 and 7. 201 plus RPI rank, they're 26 and 6. Now compare that to Arkansas is really fast. Yes, we know it's going to be better, but how much better? Arkansas with that top 6, top 8 RPI. 14th ranked overall strength of schedule, impressive. They're one through 25 teams that they played in the RPI rank. They're 14 and 10, five and one, 26 to 50, 51 to 100. They're seven and five, 10 and one against teams 101 to 200. Where was Central Connecticut? Come on, 
you know, and then 201 plus they're undefeated at 5 and 0 against teams in that RPI range. So, Arkansas's got a pretty good advantage here. You know they I know their bats are a little cold right now. Middle bullpen, the, the the middle relief is there's some question marks there. I get it, but I feel like overall Arkansas's got again, I just think they get out of this regional. I think they do make super the super regional and they'll probably end up playing Ole Miss. Again, let me know down below. Also, I'm not being promoted by D1Baseball.com, but I thought I'd bring this up. I do actually have a bracket up. You can join my group, and we can obviously compare and compete if it's anything like ESPNs. I've never actually done this before for D1Baseball.com, but, the, yeah, they do have their own. If you're interested in joining my bracket group, send me your email. Either leave it down below in the comments section if you're able. You can email it to me, tizilla 83 at gmail.com. You can, you can hit me up on Twitter. Let me know that you want to join the, the bracket group on D1Baseball.com, and uh, I'll add you through your email. So if you're interested, let me know. Send me your email. That's going to do it. Remember to like, comment, share the content that you just watched. And of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. Check out the links down below the description box. And uh, we'll give you some more updates this week. You guys be good. Go Hogs.